How terrible. We shall have to be alert for signs of the sickness among our number. Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Plays Dragon's Dogma 2, where Silverius just talked about an illness he's heard of that affects pawns that they catch outside of the rift that can make them eventually turn on their master. Interesting. That will be uh, something for us to uncover. But welcome back to Blue Plays Dragon's Dogma 2. I now have a couple of new pawns with us. We have Void and Dan the Archer. Void does claim to have restoration skills, although, frankly, I didn't actually check her abilities before I hired her. I also did some inventory management, including I grabbed a couple of Wakestone shards because, as I mentioned so coyly at the end of the last episode, we're going to head to the Charnel House. And we're going to see if maybe we can bring back Sir Gregor. That's the plan. After that, I think we'll probably... Till death do his part, report back to Margit. Wait. Yeah, that's that's done, folks. I'm not sure why you're advising me of that. But maybe, just maybe, we can bring him back. And... The child who went to Melv? Maybe him as well? I I mean, then again, I don't think that quest is even completed, so... He's not... Crime committed here will see one confined to jail. Technically as dead. I understand it, the pay of a jailer is miserable. It is here that the body is... I beg you to conduct yourself with care. Look for a body. It takes 5,000 gold, but you know what? Let's do it. <gasps> Hold on! Why have all these people died? <laughs> Ganric, Heath, and Shorg. Oh, I wonder if these were all the soldiers that died along with that other soldier against the harpies, and then I escorted them. Well, let's look for Gregor. Light a candle to Mark Gregor's coffin. I have placed a mark upon the body you seek. This, this is fantastic. Is this, is this real? I mean. That's a lit candle. But is that just coincidence? Maybe it's further down? You place a candle. Oh, is it this? Is this Gre Name Gregor. Residence. Border Watch Outpost. <gasps> yes! Death is not the end. I'm almost more curious about how this is going to work out. So, will you return to Margit now? Did I just unfail that quest? Okay, this is going to get really interesting. It's not you, is it, Gregor? No. Now, where was the... the wa Oh, right here. So, just go up the stairs one more time. <gasps> Sir Arisen, I cannot thank you enough for what you've done for us. He actually went back! I, you've my humblest gratitude, sir. If not for you, I'd ne'er have made it home. You made it home in a body bag. Or at least the Dragon's Dogma 2 equivalent of a body bag. Still, I doubt this is the last we'll be hearing from Sir Ludolf. He's not like to admit defeat after only one attempt. Where will I be sent next, I wonder? Have you not heard, my love? Sir Ludolf has fallen deathly ill. He has? <laughs> he is so excited to hear that. Aye, he was poisoned. From the tell of it was concealed in a gift a bottle of wine or some such oh margaret did you kill him but i suppose it's not so surprising a dastardly man like that must have had no shortage of enemies true enough i'm sure no few held a grudge against him for all he's done indeed perhaps one might call this his just desserts <laughs> <laughs> oh margaret follow me if you would why why am I following you? What are we hold on. 
What quest are you doing? We can't go into the masquerade like this. We don't have our stuff. My thanks. You're welcome. Oh, that's so exciting. Dan, looking all sassy. Yon path leads not to our destination. If you would prefer to It's no, it's not that we just we need to prepare. Okay? No, I just need to get my courtly attire and my mask, and then we're gonna go do the masquerade. Ooh, actually we are gonna stop by the house and rest. Because we haven't done that in a little bit. Although we've rested just not in our house. I just want to see if Silverius is coming back with anything. Alright, so we're going to grab a courtly tunic, courtly breeches, and of course, our eventide mask. Much obliged. Thank you. Okay, just remember where your house is. That's a wall. I can never remember. Is it on the western side? It's on the eastern side. Okay. Closer to the slums. Yeah, the only quest we're going to hold off on, well, really two, the one where Brant had mentioned that, uh, oh, gifts, multiple gifts. Margaret, you have such a charming abode, I must say. Mayhap next time you'll be around to invite me in. No matter, here's a little something for you to enjoy in the meantime. Hi, yes, question in the back. Did she just come by my house to leave a gift in between her husband dying and me reviving him? I'm not so sure that Margaret's as uh, innocent as she appears. Savagery extract and Gregor. Oh. Okay, never mind. Maybe they came together. Sorry for the uh, ill thoughts. I could not fathom how special the Arisen was until I met you. Now I do. I appreciate how trying it must be at times to carry such a momentous duty on your shoulders. But you oughtn't, oughtn't neglect your duty to yourself. I pray you'll take any opportunities you can to recuperate at home and that this gift may be of some use to you when you set out anew. That's so nice. That's so nice. I have no issue falling asleep, even at this time of day. <laughs> He's such an old man. I love it. Okay. All right. So just one adventure. Didn't defeat a cyclops. Womp womp. Hey, you gave me some lantern oil. Take that. Thank you, Pirates. Master, you are an open book. You've longed for my company, haven't you? <laughs> well, here I am. Oh, that's great. Okay. Yes, and it is time for the masquerade. The Stolen Throne. Let's do it. First off, oh wait, we should change. I wonder if I can leave that on, actually. I'm gonna see if I can leave on everything else. Come to think of it, was there not another task we were to see to somewhere nearby? Yeah, not yet. Now, feast feast of deception is going to wait because Brent makes it sound like everything else could uh, could fail when you do that. And Dragon's Dogma One did have that. There are several quests that you can fail just by taking on another quest too early. I don't know how long mass raids last, like eight minutes? Can I just walk through the front door? Yeah, I can. Now I'm just supposed to mingle? With who? There's no one here. Is it because it's, you know, morning? Dare I presume I've caught your eye? Perchance you've heard. The coronation is soon to be held. It's well, is there a bench I can just rest at? And it's obvious that, you know, masquerades are going to happen 24 hours a day. OK. 
Okay, I'm sure if I just go into the courtyard, there'll be a, a place to rest. I don't want to be in the palace. Oh, wait. Maybe in one of these little side rooms? Hmm, in the coat room? No? Okay. These are lovely places for benches. There's an ox cart here. Huh, where's this ox cart going? I'm not taking any passengers just now, sir. Okay. Just curious where you're heading. And looking for a bench that I can sit on. Ah, good. You returned. Yeah, well, not for long. There we go. Right at Margaret's house. Gregor and Margaret's house, excuse me. <laughs> you can just keep dozing off. Wake up, doze off. There we go. And we already get the Wakestone Shard from Void. <laughs> that was great. We have arrived. That just tells me a lot of good people are going to die. <laughs> it would be kind of nice if eventually I could go and revive everyone, but... Might get a little expensive. Okay, now we uh, now we mingle. It would seem our sovereign has recovered. Wouldn't do to meddle in each other's affairs here. What brings you here? Mm. Why, you're no. Pay me no mind. We who are gathered here are naught but nameless nobles. It would be uncouth to inquire after another's identity. Ooh, okay, a little suspicious. Another fancy party hosted by the Arisen. I hope the Sovereign shall be well enough to dance anon. All this revelry in war's wake. It isn't right. May I cut in? No? So tell me more. <laughs> Let us forget the dragon and dance the night away. Hmm. Gentlemen. All this merrymaking is a joy to behold. Wouldn't do to meddle in each other's affairs. <laughs> I could use a bit of excitement in my life as she just sits there playing her instrument. What if I try to talk to you again? No. We who are gathered here. No. Nope. Okay. Now I think the last time I was in here. There were people around the outer... Yeah. All right, let's turn on a lantern so I can actually see. You're just kind of looking in. I'm frightfully busy. No time for idle chatter. You were just spying. Oh, my lantern's running a little low. But where's my lantern? There it is. I didn't... That was the opposite of what I wanted to do. Is this fast truly to the Sovereign's taste? Hmm. 
Do I need to go look for the sovereign? Not the tedious talk of golden governance. Can I just blend in and dance? Is this what dancing is? Oh, spin. Spins are good. Okay, was there anything special I'm supposed to do? Approach the false sovereign. Yeah, that's all great, Null. No. I guess I can talk to the guards. Just between you and me, my survey missions through the caverns and ruins have been more trouble than I foresaw. My task is to seek out items of potential value and research them. And twas going well too, till I found that door. Wait, what door? It is an enigma, forged of strange materials and covered in queer etchings. But my orders are to get to the bottom of it. So back and forth I go on an endless string of expeditions. I grow wearier with every trip, but no closer to an answer. Well, I want to know where that is. What I can do for you? Yeah, tell Philippe to tell me where that cavern is. These festivities are pop. Surely these extravagant. Hmm. Hmm. You're far from your station, I. All I can do for you. You there? What are you up to? Just trying to find out where the sovereign is. I'd be glad to talk when I'm off duty, sir. What do you think you're doing here? I belong here. I've got a mask. I find it liberating to hide my face. Yeah, who doesn't? I want to grab you so bad. I just want to grab that guard and walk off with him. I don't think that'll work. Oh, maybe the sovereign's hiding in a chest? No, but I got some flowers. Good quest items to have, I guess. Oh, ornate chest. <laughs> no, not a third set. They don't sell for well. Wait, where did everyone go? Is the masquerade over? All right, hold on. I'm confused here. Everyone's going home. We danced the night away. Well, doggone. I just look silly now. Okay, I'm going to rest again and be right back. I guess we'll give this another go. If you've naught to say, I'd best be going. No. We who are gathered here are naught but... What happens if I take my mask off? Why, no. We who are gathered here are... Put the mask back on. Put the mask back on. I heard the ominous music. I belong here. The occasion demands we forego boorish inquiries. Yes? Is that Before everyone starts dancing. No, 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 don't start dancing. I find it liberating. Yeah, hide your face as often as you want. All this revelry. There's no second floor, right? No. Now this is a conundrum. Is there aught you require? No. 
Bahamut's head preoccupied just now. Have you business in Batal? Then you, good sir, will require an entry permit. Oh, that's actually good to know. Don't go thinking you can slip through the border checkpoint without one. Too many scoundrels are trying that of late. Trade twixt our nations may be on the upswing. But passage of regular civilians is still... Am I blocking them coming out? So, should you seek entry in future, I bid you take the proper channels. Pardon me. I'm just going to take a quick peek. No. The quest is over here. But if I don't know what he looks like... I mean, I'm really just running around aimlessly. Twouldn't do to meddle. I find it liberating. And he's not outside, unless, unless maybe he is. Be kind of weird if he was just outside looking in. But hey, get this treasure chest again. Sovereign could be hiding in there. He's not. Well, this is another quest that's stumping me. I feel like I've done all that I was supposed to. Is this fast tr Perchance you've heard. The, co the sovereign, wounded in glorious combat with the dragon, is recovered at last. No tidings could be more joyous. Indeed. It is a weight off my heart to think that our fair Vermin shall once again be governed by a true ruler. And when is he going to make an appearance? I find it liberating to... Is there aught you require? I will see to it that the law is... Okay, well... You're you obviously have something to do with this, but what am I supposed to do with you? I'm frightfully busy. Methinks I'll have a rest. Twouldn't do to Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and pause it here and keep looking around. There I'm missing something. <laughs> Again. Alright. I had to go back and kinda retrace my steps and remember. When we were trying to infiltrate the one, was it the magistrate's room? And I was running around looking for everything. And there was nothing there, even though it said it was in the right place. And there was an archway that looked like a door. Mm-hmm. Oh, looky here. A hidden passage. Interesting tapestry. All heal elixir? What in the world is that? Money can buy comfort, sure, but not happiness. We've naught to discuss. Okay, Richmond. But where is this leading? Well now, you're... What is it? Has something happened? Uh, we have it on good authority that a suspicious individual passed through here. We need to scour the area. I'll scour the black. In here. She's always saving us from these soldiers. Open up. Rather austerely for a patron. My humblest apologies, Lady Wilhelmina. We've had reports of an unseemly character in the vicinity, you see, and. Preposterous. I was out front till but a moment ago, and I did not see so much as a shadow. 
Be that as it may. You are excused. Leave this place. Ere you invite our noble host's wrath upon yourself, I will summon you if aught is amiss. Pray forgive the intrusion. And what business have you here in the noble's playground? Hmm? Huh? You've the face of someone in search of a juicy morsel. Would you be looking for... Oh. ...this, perchance? Come on, then. Keep pouring. Do you take me for some green lad who can't handle his cups? I'm your damned king, and a king deserves royal treatment. <laughs> <laughs> of course, your majesty. Tell us, your majesty, would you prefer more drink, or shall we find some other way to amuse ourselves? <laughs> aye, aye. Let's change things up. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I believe I cautioned you to keep your drunken revelry in check, lest you forget these celebrations of your valor are but a pretense for more serious matters. I, I know. I do. It's just I get the poison in me and things happen is all. You need only serve as our false king until Sven becomes consul. Till then, however, you would do well to remember that your role demands a certain degree of dignity. I trust you understand your position, your majesty. Nay, I, I mean I. As you say, I'll Go and sober up. Why not remove yours as well? This is not the masquerade hall, and we now find ourselves quite alone. What say we dispense with such pretenses and speak openly with one another? Lord Phasus. This isn't some big reveal. I don't know who that is. That will do. If you're discovered, yours won't be the only head that rolls. What is your purpose here, I wonder? If you came to learn of the Sovereign, then tis as you have seen. The man is not but a ale-swilling pretender propped up by the Queen Regent. Of course. That begs the question, if he's a mere mummer, then where might our true arisen be? You'd best go. I'll do what I can to help you make your escape. Come see me in my bordelry, when e'er you're so inclined. I'll instruct my attendants to send you straight to me. Well, thank you, Wilhelmina. So, Lord Phasius is the name. Is one of life's great and, um, all we've done is really proven to ourselves that the Sovereign is a, is a phony baloney. He just likes to drink and be merry. And is probably being paid very, very well for... Is this where you've been all this while? It, yes, I don't I will not be answering any questions. Surely we can ask for no more than that. <laughs> so various. I never took you to be the sentimental type, but here we are. Okay, let's go talk to Brant. I do believe he had one more quest for us that's not the coronation. See if we can't take that on, and then we have to look at some of our other quests. After you, Arisen. Hey, Brant. Who's Lord Phasius? There is much we ought to tend to. If we are to strength... Well, well. He is merely Deesa's puppet, then. Tis likely that he knows naught of her schemes. 
even were he to be removed, I suspect some other would simply be made to take his place. But if there's aught that compels my attention, tis this other man you mention. Phasus, was it? He seems a man of import, and yet I have never heard of him. Pray, allow me to investigate this matter further. You've done well, Your Majesty. Thank you. So the fourth sovereign, Queen Regent Deesa, and this Phasus fellow are all working together? It's quite the sordid trio, eh? Sordid trio indeed. Here at last. Hmm. So our quests. I don't want to do the coronation yet. Ah. Uh, oh, Sebastian. I could go get some miasmite pretty easy. But tall we're going to hold off on and uh, the eye on the beggar. I want to finish this one. I am convinced that I'm just missing something. Very, very simple. All right, I'm going to give it another go. I'm going to uh, pause the video. I'm going to rest. See if we can't figure this one out. All right. Well, I've tried and tried and tried. And I just can't seem to keep track of the beggar. So, we're going to move on. I'm hoping these quests don't fail. But I think it's time we finally went to this coronation. Yeah? We're already dressed for the part. Probably could take the mask off. But let's see what happens. There is much we ought to tend to. It all shall change once we have attended the coronation. If your majesty has any unfinished Again, I'm hoping I don't just automatically fail all this, but again, I'm going to live with my choices and the consequences. Very well. The coronation is to take place on the morrow. We shall depart early in the morn, so your majesty would do well to get a good night's rest. Obey me. There's a voice within my mind. It commands me. It sways my very will. It sways your will? Could it be that the gods sway? We must quit this place, Your Majesty. I fear our plans may fall to naught. Let us return to the tavern. even as fake pawns. We've been had. The false sovereign commanded the pawns at the coronation, proving his own powers arisen. According to Regent King Sven, the pretender was wearing some sort of lavish necklace at the time. I imagine this artifact is the godsway mentioned in that letter. A chance it is a tool that grants power akin to that of the true arisen. It would do much to explain the events that we have beheld afore now. Alas, unless we find some way to unmake this godsway's power, proving your majesty's legitimacy shall be difficult indeed. Allow me to speak to the agent we captured some days past. Perchance he knows aught of use. Never could I have imagined such an outcome. What manner of artifact is this God's sway? Is that? I suppose tis pointless to ponder. Is that it? Wait. There is much we ought to tend to. If we are, do not forget that we work to serve the city. Oh no. That whole time. Did I fail any quests? I haven't failed any quests. Okay, I guess I guess that's good. Well, that's all I got as well. Guess I can put away my fancy clothes. Ah, all of that. Such lead up. For absolutely nothing. But I suppose we can finally get rid of these coronation clothes. 
And then we just gotta wait. Well met. You will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey. Okay, let's organize. And sort. Okay, we're still nice and light. Get rid of these wakestone shards. And it's evening, so I think we'll head outside. Try to go kill some phantasms, get some more miasmite. That's my plan, at least. As we head the wrong way. Shocker. I wonder if we should head to Melv. We could take an ox cart. Hmm. You know? I might I might do that. We haven't been to Melvin a while. Let's see what's going on up there. Maybe an ox cart ought to make our journey easier. One hopes these carts offer comfort commensurate to their cost. Oh, you're ready? Well, you know what? I'm not. I'm not. Is this going to Melv? This ox cart's bound for the checkpoint rest town. I'll need to see some coin before I let you on. What is the checkpoint rest town? Okay, never mind. Never mind. Let's go talk to Brant. Oh, gone it, Brant. I just left. Do I have to wait for evening, though? I mean, I can always do that on the bench. Perhaps new oh, careful now. That's not what we want. Yeah, he's not there. All right. Sorry, sorry. Excuse me. Pardon me. Who are you there? Your presence is requested at the tavern this evening. Who's the one requested? I didn't ask. Yeah, I figure. I knew. Please don't jump off this time. It's going to be interesting to watch people route this to see how efficient they can make it because a lot of quests require specific timing. There is much we ought to tend to. If the information we pry from the agent is to be believed, there is a place in Batal devoted to the study of arts most queer. I believe it is worthy of investigation. Should fortune smile upon us, your Majesty may even discover some method of undoing the Godsway's hold over the pawns. Yet official dealings to experiment and Vital are suspended, and tis no simple matter to gain passage through the latter's fortress. Fortunately for us, however, the agent was hiding this on his person. I bid you take it. Tis an entry permit, allowing passage through Vital's fortress. It even bears the crest of the Batali Palace. It must have been commissioned by someone with great influence. I doubt any would dare impede your passage with such an item in your possession. There is one other thing, Your Majesty. With the permit came information I found most intriguing. An oracle who once served in the Vermondian court now resides in Batal. This oracle foretold the coming of the Arisen and was banished from the kingdom when her prophecy displeased the Queen Regent. Indeed, was by this same oracle's power that the agent in question came to know of your majesty's whereabouts. The oracle knows much of the arisen. Should you make her acquaintance, she may be able to offer you aid during your infiltration. We got a poor crystal. Hey, ooh, how heavy is that? It's pretty heavy. Two, well, two kilograms isn't too bad, so we'll give that to Silverius. And we are going to be making for Batal. How far away is that? I wonder how Master Sebastian and Miss Daphne fare of late. Should we pay them a visit? Oh. oh yes. I know just where to find this person. Oh, no. Okay. Follow me. All right, Silverius, let's go. We're in your hands, sir. Much obliged. I'm about to find out I killed the kid, right? 
I have I have a wake stone though. I think I still have a wake stone in my inventory. They look happy. Oh no. Master has not returned. I beg you, find him and bring him safely home. If all were to befall him, I Oh, I shudder to think. You'll help him, won't you, Arisen? Oh no. Okay. How far out are we talking? Pretty, pretty doggone far. Is it timed? It's timed. Right. Is there really no shortcut right through there? Or up through there? Hmm. Can I take an ox cart? I think is the question. All right, we need to go find Sebastian. If Master Sebastian is yet to return, perhaps we ought to make for Melv and search for him. Yeah, that's the plan. I, I, I can guide you to the vicinity of our destination, Master. Oh. Okay. The guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. I'm not sure. I'm feeling this. Severius, but okay. Our destination is rather distant. Perhaps we ought to consider employing the service. That's that's what I'm thinking, but Severius is is pretty keen on running. You're the one who started. Okay, all right. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna follow Severius, uh, but I'm gonna just go ahead and pause it because. Otherwise, we're just going to do a whole lot of running. And hopefully we make it there in time. So, bring you back for anything interesting. Shh, just don't, don't tell anyone. A soft neck wrap. Yeah, while everyone else is getting killed by goblins and zombies. Yeah, I've been traveling for some time now. Let's go ahead and kill this goblin. And I'll show you exactly where we are at. So we've been making really, really good progress. So we started in Vernworth. We went all the way up here and about two-thirds of the way there. Yeah, so a little bit ways yet. I think I'll actually bring you all along for some of the adventure. See if anything interesting. We've killed, I don't know how many, goblins and skeletons and wolves. Lots and lots of skeletons. Which has been nice, getting lots of scrap iron and uh, rugged bone or jagged bones. They're pretty low level, so it's certainly not much of a uh, challenge. Oh, careful now. But hey, lots of experience, lots of discipline points. Yeah, it's going really well. I was half tempted to drop the port crystal whenever I got to Melv. Wait, what? Why wouldn't we go this way? Unless you know a shortcut. Alright, Saurian. Once again, just trying to break that tail whenever I can. Oh, that was awesome. Oh, I missed having that. Hey, there we go, Saurian tail. Yeah, the Soaring Tail mixes with the Robrance, I believe, to give you an exquisite version, which is pretty exciting. I see a treasure way over by the waterfall there. We got more skellies. It's not long till daybreak, Master. I think these all leave whenever it's daytime, right? That works. Go ahead and destroy those skulls. These skulls, canonically, by the way, are the same skulls containing the golden runes in Elden Ring. Yeah, you heard it here first. Wait. Are you mean? Oh, you're a bandit. Pull you towards me, and then pin. 
Little drawn cord. Oh, watch it. What are we feasting our eyes on? <laughs> I think I just yanked him into the blades. That was pretty exciting. Okay, did we? Yeah, we grabbed that one. Yeah, well, we are kind of looking for Sebastian. I'm starting to wonder... Wow, you really don't like when we run in weapons uh, at the ready, huh? But I'm starting to think the treasure chests don't respawn. Unlike the first one. And if so, it's a while. I don't know how many days, days I have. In fact, can I see that in my history? 43 days. I spent 43 days in-game. I've earned 175,000 uh, gold or gil. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, we got to be getting close. Oh, we are getting close. I can actually see the circle. But not ready yet. And skull splitter right in the group. Beautiful. Oh, but I'm tired. <laughs> Someone wake me up. One of them, uh, one of them kind of escaped, but I'll let you all grab him. Are we leaving already? Um, yeah, we are because, oh, there's wolves right in the vicinity of where Sebastian's supposed to be. If I find a little boy's body, I'm going to be very, very upset. Come on, grab a wolf. Hey, grab a wolf, I said. Oh, no! Get off of him! There we go. That's a cool shield you have. And you've got more? Oh, more goblins. Oh, it's, it's Sebastian! I'm working on it. What a glorious Master, if ever your pack grows cumbersome, know that I would be glad. Okay, Xander, I'm not here for you, friend. Ah, oh, tis you. Thank goodness you happened by, or who knows what might have become of me. You have my gratitude, but do excuse me. I'd best make for Just get on an ox cart. You saved Sebastian. Yeah, is he gonna still be saved? Material. Report back to the manor. I guess so. Well, we're not going to stop here. We're going to make our way to Melv. And then we should just be able to take an ox cart, right? Or I, I could take a fairy crystal, but that seems very wasteful. The field of battle is once to hit us against our fellows. Let us cut them down easier to bear. Little pin. Draw and quarter. You're already dead. Doesn't matter. How, how did he survive? Seriously, you don't know how many battles I fought to get here. And all he had was some little panacea. All right, well, while we're here, let's run around and see if there is... I am well enough, thank you. Anyone needs any assistance? Is your inventory changed by chance, Dudley? Pelt Flare, Steel Virtue... Oh, really? 18,000. Oh, what does it sell for? Ring of Aggression. Boost Strength. I like that. We're going to grab a couple of those. Ring of Resolution. I think we have one of those for... Oh, no, we don't, I guess. Okay, so I'm going to buy one of these. Then I'm going to go to... Oh. I'll buy two of them. I'll buy one of the Rings of Resolutions. Silverius isn't close enough to actually get them. But if I wanted to sell, I don't have the sword on me, so it doesn't matter. Doing business with you. Up. But what does that actually increase my strength to? 
I guess I can't. Oh, that's. I can't actually see my strength. That's silly. So I'd have to go look. So right now my strength is 318. So if I put on a ring of aggression, let's get rid of the ring of accrual. So that's left hand. No, right hand. There we go. And boost it up. Nope, still 318. Right, because it's a character stat, not a weapon stat. Okay, that's all right. Packs are heavier, and our purse is far lighter. Come to think of it, a curious bond. Master, I vow to weigh my every word. Before... Okay, Shinobi, you are just a pawn. Sorry. Since we're not here very often, I just want to see if there's anything that we should do here. Any quests that need to be undertaken? I've not much to offer you, sir. I fear. It's all right, Ian. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. After you, arisen. Okay, let's check the inn, and then we'll go wait for the cart. No, no one's in here. All right, I guess no one needs our assistant at the moment. You're all doing just fine without me. Not, I mean, that's good. I'm glad. I just, if I'm needed, is all I'm happy to help. I just jumped into a building accidentally. All right, never mind. Let's head back. Call it a day. Sebastian saved. Didn't have to give him any Cyclops stuff. And is this heading back to? Are you the cart driver? I'm not taking any passengers just now. Oxcart service hours. They depart in the early morning. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Well, let's just wait for it then. Are you taking passengers now? If I can get to you. I'll need to see some coin before I let you on. Fernworth works for me. Hey, remember Rook from the beginning of the game? <laughs> And uninterrupted, beautiful. Overheard some of the soldiers standing guard outside the palace discussing a curious rumor. Regarding the Queen Regent and an important personage, you mean? Well, let's go, I guess, see Sebastian. Daphne can go home if she wishes. This went rather well. That was a nice little trek. It actually didn't take nearly as long as I thought. Does make me wonder just how huge the world is, though. Quite possibly very, very huge. Home at last. Welcome home, young master. Thank you, Diana. I am glad to be back. It was a hard journey, but I found what I saw. I only hope Mother will be pleased. Oh. <gasps> A blue sun bright. I thought they were make-believe. Oh no. They're quite real. Rather rare though. And particularly to Melv. I'm surprised you've heard of them to be frank. Really? Well, there's a picture of one stuck to the inner cover of a book that was donated to the Gracious Hand. I asked Sir Kendrick about it. He told me the flower's name. A picture, you say? How very odd. I believe Miss Daphne is describing a book plate. The book in question will have been a donation from this very house. Indeed, the mistress has been very generous in her support of the gracious hand over the years. Is that because she gave up a child some years ago? But you? Oh, 
I must tell her thank you. I think I could arrange that. I'm certain my mistress would be delighted. Yes. Well, as for me, I'm just pleased to be home safe and sound. All this racket. What's going on? Uh oh. I had one of them. Good gracious. What is the meaning of this? Oh, you must be the lady who's been supporting the gracious hand. Thank you ever so much for all you've done for us. What precisely have you told this girl? Not a word, mistress. Oh, yeah, something's going on. Good. As for you, girl, you need not thank me. Tis the privilege of the nobility to help those who are less fortunate. Now, it is getting late. You had best be off. Do be sure to leave the house unseen. And fare you well, child. Know that where'er life may lead you, you may take pride in who you are. Do be sure to leave the house unseen. Diana, I would speak with you alone. You have some explaining to do. What was that all about? Mother seemed awfully perturbed. Yeah, she yeah, sure did. She took a fell turn back there. A chance we stepped on orcs we shouldn't have. No, I don't. Terrand breeds no satisfaction. I don't think so. Tis a relief to be home. What was that all about? Mother's oh, you Daphne. To think the lady here has been supporting the are all the nobles so kind. No. I can't. No, they're not. But there's definitely more to the story. We'll have to check back. Speaking of checking back, though, I think we should go check out the slums and check out the vaults and see what. Uh, What's his name? Waldorf? Waldorf? Worthington? Whatever his name was. Maybe we should go and check in on him. Which again is to the east, not the west. We just cut through here? Huh. Beggar's not here today. Yeah, let's wrap up by just heading into the slums. Any gifts by my door? Yes, there are. This is a little gift from me to you. I really hope you like it. I chose it myself. Think you can find a use for it? Panacea? Probably. Except I hoard consumables like they're going out of fashion. It's gotta have a name. Is that just like RPG Syndrome? You know, finishing Skyrim with 18,000 minor healing potions. Alright, let's head down. See if we can't get some information. Oh, it's so dark and decrepit down here. to rush headlong into danger. Let us take care to move as one. Remain alert, and naught shall catch There he is. With the aid of Sir Kendrick and his helper in locating certain documents, I believe I finally grasped the true nature of this place. It was a royal library that was sealed off by a sovereign of some generations past. In a bid to pass the throne on to his own descendants, this sovereign attempted to consign our kingdom's histories to oblivion. Alas, it would seem that, no matter the age, the avarice of those in power is all but guaranteed. Yet, tis clear it serves them not. Almost laughably so. The Sovereign's line ultimately fell to ruin, and now this library, so laboriously sealed, has been discovered. What can we learn from this? Those who make light of history are doomed to be crushed under its heel. Fine timing, sir. Fine timing, indeed. I've need of your services, you see. My time in that tenebrous jail has only hastened the deterioration of my eyesight. I stare at the page, but the letters stubbornly refuse to take shape. Yet these old eyes might serve some use if only I could wear the spectacles I had specially made. Alas, they were confiscated at the time of my imprisonment. You tell me the whole time you've been down here, you, you haven't been able to read? As I recall, 
prisoner's possessions are held within the palace storeroom. It is a place to which few have lawful access, as I'm sure you can imagine. Though, as I hear it, masquerades are being held of late. Masquerades with a great many attendees, if you catch my meaning. Should you happen to enter the venue, mayhap you would find an opportunity to liberate my poor spectacles? What say you? Would you consider doing an old man a favor? Uh, considering the pal storerooms might have other goodies for me, I think we can make it work. I am in your debt. With those spectacles in hand, I might actually get through one of my tomes. Pray. Infiltrate the venue and find the storeroom. You are my only hope. I think we can accommodate Vald Waldar's confiscated, spe confiscated spectacles. All that, though, in, tune in due time. Yep, I gotta take a break because words are failing me, just like his eyes are failing him. Thank you so much for watching Blue Plays Dragon Dogma 2. Hope you're enjoying half as much as I am playing because it's still just such a fun game. And I will see you next time.